American writer Flannery O'Connor's novella, The Displaced Person, published in her 1955 short story collection A Good Man is Hard to Find, concerns a family of Polish refugees, the Gazaks, who arrive at the Georgia dairy farm of Mrs. McIntyre, having been freed from the death camps of the Second World War. The Gazaks encounter prejudice and hostility from the local people, and eventually, Mr. Guezak is killed in a dubious accident. O'Connor's novella was inspired by the treatment of refugees in her own Georgia neighborhood of Milledgeville. A refugee family was hired to work on the dairy farm owned by O'Connor's mother in 1951. The novella opens with a description of the peacock that lives on Mrs. McIntyre's farm. O'Connor saw the peacock as a symbol of the divine, and throughout the novella, characters' reactions to the peacock tell us something about their spiritual well-being. The local priest, Father Flynn, is moved by the sight of it while Mrs. Shortley, who works for Mrs. McIntyre, sees it as nothing but a pea chicken. Father Flynn is visiting the farm as an escort to the Gazaks, a Polish Catholic family fleeing the horrors of the Second World War. The arrival of these new workers causes some concern for Mrs. McIntyre's other employees, a young black man known as Sulk, an older black worker Aster, and the Shortleys, a white family. Mrs. Shortley is especially hostile to the Gazaks. She has seen newsreels depicting the Nazi death camps and she does not distinguish between victims and perpetrators. All she knows is that the Gazaks come from the place where these horrors are happening, and she suspects they might be capable of perpetrating similar crimes themselves. Her suspicions are intensified by the involvement of the Catholic Father Flynn. As an evangelical Protestant, she sees the Gazaks as part of a plot to plant the whore of Babylon in the midst of the righteous. However, her racial prejudice gives her some comfort, if anyone is to be displaced by the Gazaks, it will be the black workers, not the white shortelies. Mr. Guezak quickly proves himself diligent and able. Mrs. McIntyre, who is concerned above all with profit, declares that Mr. Guezak is her salvation. Seeking reassurance, Mrs. Shortley turns to religion. She has an inner vision and prophesies, the children of wicked nations will be butchered. She goes on to describe scenes of dismemberment, based on the newsreel of the Polish camps. She learns a secret about Mr. Guezak that she is confident would horrify Mrs. McIntyre. However, she decides not to reveal it, preferring to rely on her confidence that she outranks the displaced person on the farm. Nevertheless, she soon overhears Mrs. McIntyre discussing her plan to fire the Shortelis. The Shortelis pack and depart from the farm. Mrs. Shortley is shaken so badly that she has a stroke and dies. In her last moments, she experiences a vision of dismemberment, recalling her prophecy. Mrs. McIntyre learns the secret that Mrs. Shortley kept from her, Sulk has an arrangement with Mr. Guezak. The black worker is giving the Gazak's money towards a ticket for Mr. Gazak's cousin to come to America. In exchange, Mr. Guezak has agreed that Sulk and his cousin will marry. Mrs. McIntyre confronts Mr. Guezak, declaring that this marriage is impossible. Mr. Guezak, unfamiliar with the American prejudice against racial intermarriage, assumes that Mrs. McIntyre is upset about his cousin's age. He explains that unless he can bring her to America, his cousin might die in a camp. Mrs. McIntyre refuses to listen, acquiring an unshakable dislike for her worker. She asks Father Flynn if she can fire the Gazaks, but the priest evades her, refusing to give her his permission. Mr. Shortley returns to the farm to report the death of Mrs. Shortley. He blames Mr. Guezak and demands that Mrs. McIntyre fire him. Mrs. McIntyre promises to do so, but finds that her conscience prevents her. Mr. Shortley begins to speak to other local people, drumming up prejudice against Mr. Guezak. Soon the whole community is looking askance at Mrs. McIntyre for continuing to employ the displaced person. This pressure outweighs Mrs. McIntyre's conscience, and she goes to fire him. She finds Mr. Guezak working on the underside of a tractor. Sulk attends. While Mrs. McIntyre dithers, Mr. Shortley parks a larger tractor on the hill above Mr. Guezak, leaving the brake unsecured. The tractor begins to roll downhill. Mrs. McIntyre has the opportunity to warn Mr. Guezak, but she doesn't. She passes out, and when she comes round, Mr. Guezak is fatally injured. He takes last rites from Father Flynn and dies. Sulk and Mr. Shortley leave the farm and it begins to decline.
After suffering of the nervous affliction, Mrs. McIntyre is forced to sell her cattle at a loss. Bed-bound, she has few visitors, but she does see the priest. The novella concludes with the suggestion that Mrs. McIntyre is beginning to sincerely absorb Christian doctrine. The displaced person explores themes of prejudice and charity. The novella, and the collection of which it forms a part, form a key part of Flannery O'Connor's reputation as one of the greatest writers of the American South. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.